Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and this is the best mouse I've ever used, the Logitech MX Master 2S, and you've seen it on my desk setups, you've heard other tech YouTubers praise it, yes, it's an incredible mouse with a larger price tag to match. And this is the Apple Hockey Puck mouse. It's sh The mouse itself came with the classic Apple lineup of iMac G3 computers, and the mouse is widely known as one of the worst Apple products of all time. So first of all, the shape itself. A mouse like the MX Master is a very ergonomically designed mouse so your hand naturally just fits comfortably in, hence the weird kind of shape of the mouse. The Apple mouse is shaped like a hockey puck so it's very symmetrical and it's good if you're left-handed or right-handed, but where your fingers would naturally rest for clicking, there are no buttons. The button itself is at the very tip of the mouse so you have to hold it very differently than a regular mouse you'd be more used to today. It's just not a very optimal hand positioning for the mouse itself. It was such a problem for so many people that some accessory makers actually made an accessory to make the mouse a much more regular shape and size. Around 20 years later though, the click is still surprisingly great, but did I mention there's only one button? So on the MX Master there are both left and right buttons, a scroll wheel on the top and the side, as well as many customizable buttons. While the Apple Mouse has just one single click, there's no scrolling, just one click. If you right click you have to actually press the control button and then click. This is also a mouse that came out before optical and laser mice were actually popular, so this is a ball mouse. Basically, a small weighted ball rolls around inside the mouse and makes contact with three plastic wheels that detect movements. Each wheel turns depending on the movement of the ball, which in turn sends this data through the cable into your computer itself. A mouse like the MX Master is a laser mouse that uses a laser to actually measure the distance that the mouse moves on a table surface. A laser mouse also lets you use a mouse on really any surface, so on glass for example, on any tabletop, on cloth, basically anything. While a ball mouse, in contrast, will rarely ever work unless you actually use it on a mouse pad and some tabletops. Now after all these negatives, the biggest positive for me is the visual design. It's not a great mouse by really any standards for actual usage, but the way it looks is something to definitely be admired. The mouse has a very unique, nice transparency to it, and it also came in a variety of color options depending on which color computer you bought. It looks ultra minimal, and at a time when mice looked like this, this mouse stood out for being so unique and well designed aesthetically. The Logitech mouse looks hyper sleek with lots of modern design touches, but in my opinion it doesn't look as good and simple as the Apple mouse. This is kind of how Apple mice have always sort of been. They're really good looking, they're well built, and don't look like a standard computer mouse at all. But at the cost of being costly, lacking ergonomics, having some weird design touches, and always lacking that right button with no physical scroll wheel. And no, that, that doesn't count. I would actually even go as far as saying that a Bluetooth optical version of this mouse would actually be kind of a cool mini portable mouse. But for now, I'm gonna stick with my MX Master. But let me know your thoughts on the infamous Apple Puck Mouse in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.